It's time for more Doki Doki. Hello, my little Cinnabons, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature. Literature. Oh, why do I always say Literature Simulator? It's Literature Club. And here, we're with Monica. Let's see, let me have my saves. That's from a different run. Don't worry about it. Okay. Hi again, male pug. I mean, grab hi again, pug. Good. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Haha. -ha. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my words. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thank you for keeping your promise, Mel Pug. I hope this isn't too overwhelming, overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it? Oh, come on! Like, he deserves any slack. See, you always told me that you don't even want to... You didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know how you... You just plan to come here and hang out or what? But if you don't take me seriously, take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. <laughs> Natsuki, you really do have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself between, say, Monica and Manga. Manga literature! So flea defeated, Natsuki plops into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Mil Puck is always giving his best, as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without even asking. Like cooking and cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Milk Pug can become good friends too. Uh, um. Sa Sayori. Hmm? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, you, you're even bright you to say today something, you know? Wait, Sayori, wait, Sayori. Eh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Sayori said, made it sound like a big deal, but it's really not. Oh, uh, what do I do? Eh? I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. That means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place, so any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't even make a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, but it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it, if you wanted. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book and she, think, she thinks I like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. Enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everybody's settled in, I expect Monica to pick up... to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sierra and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried deep in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in a closet. Man. It looks, no one, looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature-related myself by this? Some... I guess I could always read some book that book Yuri gave me, but I'm feeling too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. Sorry, I need to eat. Hmm. I close my eyes and end up listening, on say, listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably going to seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. <laughs> well, we can't give up. The festival is a chance to show everybody what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm... That doesn't solve the problem, though. Eh? What do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? <clears> hmm. <throat> and after they come, we can do 
we can do the thing to speak their creative minds. What's this? Sierra is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. Huh. That's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? What, what kind? I guess we could... Cupcakes! <laughs> good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That would work out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it? Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. <laughs> cupcakes it is, then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to figure out the details of the events itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, so you always still your usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, she has trouble finding any motivation at all. Siori can put her- uh, One second. Oh, one second. This is juicy. Siori can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I let it- Let it- Why I ended up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Ugh! Ugh! I- I find her filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Does this school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know. You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder, see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> That's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh? N not, not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Siori, it's written all over you. Huh? Siori glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? You are clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. <coughs> I remember fingertips down the side of Sarah's hair, trying to straighten it up. Man, you really need to brush this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's toothpaste stain in your collar right here. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. Nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I don't really care about that. Hey, meanie. You don't even keep your own blazer button up. Seriously, Sayori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Eh? That's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you'll see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Hee <laughs> hee. This is so funny. What is? Well... I was just thinking of how weird it is to have a friend who does these kind of things. Eh? Just don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? <laughs> I struggled to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. <sighs> if you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed it sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. Why are you still smiling? What are you smiling about? Children, it's time to go to bed. <laughs> I'm not reading that. Just don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway, you look much better now. So, ah, why is it so strange to see ba Siri's blazer button up like that? Stuffy. <laughs> it's not worth it at all. She unbuttons her blazer once more. Phew! That's so much better. So he puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying it to me like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then you wouldn't even let you do things like this. And you take care of me better than anyone else would. Anyway, so that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, let's focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focused on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. Hey, <laughs> hey. I guess we really are better 
taking care of each other than we are taking care of each other. Yourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Aw, but I was joking that time. It's impossible to tell me sometimes. Okay, everyone! Eh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! I can't wait to read yours! Yeah, same. I, fi I feel the sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to retrieve her poem. One second, I need, I need to relax my throat and Gatorade. Sorry if I'm having a hard time with the voices today, guys. I do not feel good, I have stomach issues. Mainly I threw up on myself, but that's not the point! By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My, my relaxation ends. I can't believe I did, agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration, since we've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull, pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a recalled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a com composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Hmm. I'm overwriting that save. That's not important. Discord. <laughs> well, I didn't I write my poem for Yuri. Let's do Yuri. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion to be fair. face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice it's several minutes and we haven't really gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to getting used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What are you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing is that new writers always try and make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is both the style and the expensive expressiveness that are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's her demeanor totally changes. Her stammer is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into even writing a simple poem. Not just finding them, but building them, and getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but all comes with practice, and learning by example, and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased, though. Biased? How? Um, oh, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to herself or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please, please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Your smile is dreamly, as it's a rare hop opportunity for her, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. This must... It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time, and yet are to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. 
I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light thickens. I flicker back. Oh! I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. What it took you, it's a long time to read. Ah, well, I don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Huh? That's a relief. Also, I liked the poem. Even though it's short, it's really descriptive. Was it too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I propose, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you only did glance over it after all. But remember that uh, poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. And they usually do more than tell just a simple story or paint a picture. Okay, now that we had the blazer experience, I'm gonna just pay attention to the blazers and actually see if, um, uh, it's just Sayori, I think it is, I'm not sure. I don't know, I'm an idiot sometimes. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being simply compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of her past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Hmm. Yeah, maybe you're right. I'll just have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. So, should I show my poem to So, does it matter who you show it to? First? Uh. Sayor! Oh my goodness! This is so good! Eh? Eh? I love it! I had no idea you're such a good writer. Sayori, you must be seriously overreacting. I am not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what it's like either. <laughs> Jeez. Your opinion is way more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. Are you sure about... Are you sure you don't... I don't... Are you sure you don't like it because I just wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a male pug poem. And that makes it even specialer. I can... It's like I can feel your feelings in it. See, your hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> I'm really just happy that you wrote one. It kind of reminds me of how you're really part of the club now. And the fact that I'm standing right in front of you in the classroom? Eh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like what I said before, male pug. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people. That's something only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure she sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again. I can't deny she's part of the reason it joins. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thinking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you that then. Yay! Now if you read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine. Hold on a second, let me finish chewing this. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning makes me feel like you miss me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the stormy sleep from my eyes. Are you asking me out to come and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, a look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> I want breakfast. That's the perfect way to end a poem! I want breakfast! Can I just take a picture? If this video cuts out...
gonna be This is gonna be the cover. <clears throat> Sorry, I just had to quickly um <clears throat> use that. That's gonna be the cover. No matter what. I want breakfast. Oh no, I don't wanna quit. I don't wanna quit. Sayori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No, just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to the answer question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least me thinks it, it at least makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still try my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. I just came out nice. Or how should I put it? It just sounds like you. Really? Yeah. How can a poem sound like that? Especially that last line. I made eggs and toasts! Even though you were late to school? Bad to skip breakfast. Yeah, that is to get bad to skip breakfast. Cause then you go and you're like, I'm gonna eat your soul. Satan is, Satan is my spawn. I don't know. I get all cranky. Yeah, I told you! I guess there's no part no angering. Anyways, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this is so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. The next time, I won't forget. I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Aww, she's just so cute! I'm saving waifu for last, Monica. Hi, male pug. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good! Glad to hear it. By the way, you're new and everything. Since you're new and everything, if you made, if you're, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, of course, it'll be hard to bring things up. I'm much better just going with the flow once I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Malpug. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? It's just that sort of burial. We're all bur burial. It's sort of burial that we all get to learn to get past. Yeah, that's true. I had Monica in my poem. Mm -hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Because I, cause I accidentally overrided my save last time. And I rewrote it for Sayori. <laughs> Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sort of things in common. Uh, well, I only forwarded my save. <laughs> we may be good friends, but Sayori and I are really different. Well, then that may be the case. But there may be also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you, it sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So if I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into it too much? Haha, <laughs> I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sayori's kind of the gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes explaining with emotions, happiness, and sadness. Who knew that something, someone can be so happy and enjoy sad things too? Uh, I don't know. Someone like Sayori? Yeah, that's totally unexpected, except I know it's gonna happen. <laughs> well, to each his own. And you should be afraid to experiment a little bit in here. I'm sure I'll, I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the best kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little biased towards their own kind of styles, but it'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall. It shouldn't have been me. See, the direction the sparkle protrudes. A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. 
No! I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas are already scorched. This is a hole in a wall. Wow. But it's too late. My retinas already scorched with a permanent copy of a meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out! And not he on the other side. Was looking in! So, what do you think? Hmm, it's really freeform, that's what you call it. Why isn't there a choice to scream? Sorry, I'm just not the right person to ask for feedback. Haha, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on timing of words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. Was that the inspiration behind this one? Ah, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it, but I guess you could say it was some sort of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. Foreshadowing. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone was better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to write something down on paper and tidy up later. Another way to think about it is something like this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big, dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. And go with the flow. Every day, I had the future where I can be with you. This is so much foreshadowing. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. I'm gonna finish up with Natsuki because I have to go to the bathroom and that's just gonna be weird for you guys to just for like the next five minutes Natsuki waifu well it's kind of what I expected from someone like you absolutely well excuse me it's not like I said it was bad I'm just saying it didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes. Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. <sighs> well, anyway, I just guess I need to show you mine. Not that you like it. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try, but that's about it. I wish you guys could see my face right now. It's just a giant poker face. And a sarcastic clapping. I'm just gonna read this again. In her voice. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. And cheetahs can run. Cheetahs can fly. And people can try. But that's about it. Suffer. 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 I have... The Squidward, it's good for your soul. I don't have a soul. <laughs> that, that noise, though. Yeah, I told you you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just to be on it. Just to... Be honest. I am. Why you can why you could so Vincent wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that Reddy has to be all sophisticated and stuff. People don't even try taking me right seriously. <laughs> Not me. But that isn't the point of poems to express themselves. Your writing style your writing style shouldn't make you message any less valid. Yes, exactly! I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in, the, like in this poem. Like, it hits you hard! Right. Yeah. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. The other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more right weight on the wordplay. Like, 
if I set up a rhyme at the end, but I made it pop up flat on purpose. It helps me bring out the feeling in the last line. So it did. I guess I more, more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. Oh! I am the one, the one, the one, the one. I, I can't say that. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did ya? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how everyone old is, but if Natsuki's feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. <sighs> I guess that's everyone. No, you forgot me. You did show your poem to your own face. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. As if everyone was judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. I don't know. I can write pretty well. I write fan fictions well. Well, if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. Especially my poems. If this is a little trouble, after all, I sigh. I guess it's just what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayura and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They ain't gingerly ex change sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. Oh no. Oh no, I think I know what's about to happen. As they read in tandem, I watch their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in, in, uh, in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing! Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you just completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clear about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? Uh, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't, didn't come out nice at all. Um, oh, I do have a couple of suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Most people did, by the way. Yeah, I really liked it. Mail pugged it, too. So based on that, I'm glad he gives some, some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. <laughs> and Nailpug liked my poem too, you know? He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you are so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That's what- not, not what I- Okay, children, if you don't like this, this is where it gets weird. That's not what I- ooh. You're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Mail Plug appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Uh, girl, ladies, ladies. You, you're both literally polar opposites. She has pink hair, she has purple hair. Th those are like... I, I think they're like opposites on the chart. Um, oh, look, she has she has that button up to two. She has two, so... Okay, so it's just safe. It is safe. Okay. Are you... Are you that full of yourself? I... No. I was full of myself. I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do is really juicy! Ugh. Um... Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one who, who's... Ooh! Who's... Bleh, magically gross-sized beggars the male pug starts showing up! N Natsuki? I'm um, Natsuki. That's a little... This doesn't involve you! This doesn't involve you! Both girls turned to me as soon as they noticed I was just standing there. Mailpug! Mailpug! She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true! She started it! If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place! What's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out to the reader and not force them to have to figure it out! Let me explain that to her! Unnecessarily learning yourself, but it's also a waste. You should understand that, right, Mailbug? Um, wow! Well? What did 
I get back to this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about raiding or whoever I agree with. They'll probably think I'm big more highly of me. Okay. I just want to say, doesn't this only happen in the second run? Um, oh, is it right? That's a key. That's a key loads of me, drying up any words I had in my mouth. This is the set of Yuri. 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 But Yuri's expression is so defensive. Sayori! Eh? Yeah? Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? No fun. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, Sayori... If Sayori wants to tell Yuri she's such a stuck-up jerk she's be being, she would never... It's your immaturity that made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why. Exactly why nobody likes. Stop! Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people. I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems. They're amazing because you give so many feelings of such a few words. And Yuri's poems because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's is so talented, so why are we fighting? Because... Also, Natsuki's cute, and there's nothing wrong with that. And yours... Dinglings are bigger than they... <laughs> Children, go to sleep! I told you to go to sleep, right? Alright. And... They're the same as they always were, big and beautiful! Monica's is kind of a bewildered expression. How makes tea? As Yuri rushes off, Matsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So, this is why Sayori is vice president? I whispered to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader, and I can organize things, but I'm not really good for people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing for me. Uh -huh. Nah. It's not like I can blame you. Because that was really weird. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means Sayori is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that. She might be an airhead, but she doesn't she's really suspicious and she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her <laughs> I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes two months. That makes two months! <laughs> you can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, turning my stomach to a knot. Such a genuine person really does make a good present, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her, with her a little more. What? No, I don't want to talk to her. Okay, everyone. It's just about that time for us to leave. How don't you all feel about sharing poems? That was a lot of fun. Oh, uh, I did say it was good. Oh, she's back. Okay. I was all right. Well, mostly. What about you? Uh, yeah, I'd say the same. It wasn't anything to talk about with anyone. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. Little finger thing that I'm doing that you can't see. I think to myself, did I learn about, learn about I did learn about a little more kind of poems that everybody likes. If any luck, if any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. Oh, uh, and I impressed Sayori, huh? I was writing that poem to her. One second, please I should finish up. I nodded to myself with newfound determination. Oh, bug. Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Hee <laughs> Sayori beeps at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori, what about, what about what happened earlier? Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, 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 no! That's really the first time I've ever seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't... You don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Mailbug, it's... It's nice to get to spend this time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. I think everyone really likes you, too. That... Hehehe. <laughs> Every day is gonna be so much fun. <sighs> Looks like Siri still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... But what? 
Does it really need to stop here? There? Oh! We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that alone. I said that more to myself than her. It's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. All right, everybody. I'm gonna save it here. I know. I don't need this. Alright everybody, that's gonna end it for today. We got boop! We got boop, people! Okay, I'm just gonna at least click boop. There we go. Boop. And I will see you later, my little Cinnabons. I'm sorry it ran on a little longer than it's supposed to. You can't you guys can't see the little clock, but it's over 20 minutes. But I'll see you guys later in the next video. Goodbye!